Hello everyone. Um, I was asked a question online. I'm trying to respond to that question. Someone asked me the difference between a map sensor and a boost pressure sensor. So what I'm going to do here, I'm, I'm going to start doing measurements uh, on this map sensor and then I'll go on a boost pressure sensor as well and then we can talk about that and, you know, and draw some conclusion from that. So the ignition key is on at the moment so what i'm going to do uh, i'll disconnect that sensor there and i'm going to check these pins and then we'll show you what voltage we have so we have got four pins so this is an mgzr uh, it's 2003 so we've got pin one the wire is pink pin two yellow and white yellow and purple for pin three red and green for pin four so now we want to get our voltages um with the with the sensor disconnected so i'm on pin one that's the that's the pink wire okay i'm on pin one and this is what i'm getting here 0 0.01 volts now I'm on pin 2 right uh, that's the yellow and white uh, I'm on pin 2 let me see if I can get a good connection there it is we have got 5 volts on pin 2 okay pin 2 is the is the yellow and white wire that on there right so uh, it's giving me five five volts right yep just shooting a video here I'll be with you shortly <laughs> right pin three is five volts five or two as you can see that's the yellow and purple that is our pin pin three okay so we can record that five that's five volts and then we are going to do pin four you see I'm, I'm i'm holding the camera at the same time and doing this so i hope you don't mind so i'm now on pin four okay that's the red and green wire so that's what i'm getting from pin four okay 0 0.01 volt right i'm on uh, pin one and i have got the sensor now connected okay the sensor is connected and i'm on pin one if you can check maybe from this side that's my pink wire okay i'm on pin one so that's what i'm getting ignition key is on all right that's what i'm getting there so that's pin one so that'll be 0 0.02 volts on pin 1 and if we can maybe you know, go to pin 2 can we yeah we should be able to right pin 2 to check that right interesting we have taken a turn here you need to if you follow these uh, these videos you know what I'm going to talk about you see that my 5 volt has dropped this is 2.559 now okay it's 2.59 volts you notice here it was 5 volts and now it's 2.59 as you can see it here so I'll go Pin three shouldn't expect a change there. Okay, that's our pin three. It's a five volt. Okay, so that's five volt for pin three. Okay, <clears throat> that's our white and our yellow and purple. So let's see. We go to pin four. Here's pin four. Right. We've got about four volts, four point zero six, four point zero 
six so before I go anyway uh, let's discuss these results so you can notice uh, disconnected key on engine off 0 0.01 uh, connected 0 0.02 so that's our ground wire okay I want I want to believe that now you're familiar with the way I work with this so that's our ground wire then we go to pin 2 which is 5 volts disconnected and the moment we connect it it goes to 2.59 that's our power for the temperature sensor okay that's our power for the for the temperature sensor remember it drops down the moment you connect because you've got two resistors in series okay you have a variable resistor and a fixed resistor um it's a pull-up resistor that is inside the ecu so then we're going to pin three five volts we come here uh pin three still five volt that's correct that's our map sensor voltage okay that's our power supply for the map sensor look here that pin one is a it is a a ground that is shared between the temperature sensor and the map sensor okay so look at the signal wire it goes high voltage during idling sorry at, at key on just why it's recording atmospheric pressure in that intake manifold the moment we start to run this engine that signal should change so now we are coming to stage three where we are saying connected key on engine running so we want uh, to do the same readings and see you notice pin number four will move from four volts to about one volt okay but at the moment it's just reading uh, atmospheric pressure so what I'm gonna do let me do this as well at this stage I want to introduce the scan tool before I go any further so what I want you to watch right now is the voltage that I have on my signal wire Q1 engine off and also what that translates to so that there is your temperature there um, that's 25 you know uh, degrees Celsius <coughs> and um, your manifold absolute pressure it's 101 which is correct that's you know equivalent to a bar that's kilopascals right that is kilopascals so that is equivalent to to a bar you divide that by 100 that will give you a bar so that's correct okay so I just wanted to show you these two here so I'm going to run the engine and do the test and at the same time I would want to point you to the scan tool as well so that you can see what that information that I'm, I'm, I'm reading in terms of voltage here will translate to uh, this side in terms of pressure okay so now the engine is running okay we are on pin 4 which is our signal wire um, so like I said we are sitting at 1.57 1.6 volt thereabouts but as in terms of our pressure you can see here we've got 38 uh, kilopascals so let's record that down and then check the other systems as well so that would be 1.1.6 volts this is 38 kilopascals right which is 0.3 of a bar then what i'm gonna do now I will go to number one let's start this process again with the engine idling so we go to number one oh so that's number one 0 0.06 0 0.07 uh, that's our ground remember so 0, 0.0 six volts nothing wrong with that and then i'll go to pin two maybe let me see oh yeah i put my light on pin two that's our temperature sensor that's 2.74 volts which is equivalent to what 
24 degrees Celsius on the sun too. So that's 2.74 volts. So you can see that it drops slightly there, but it doesn't matter. So let's go to number three, which is our map sensor. It should not change. That one should remain five volts. So there you go. That's number three. And then we come here. That one does not change. It should be five volts. Okay. So that's five zero five volts. So as I said here, if you notice at the top, we we're sitting at four on 06 volts this was atmospheric pressure now we don't have atmospheric pressure in there the engine is running our signal wires dropped to 1.6 this is correct and that is now 0.38 of a bar you know we divide this by 100 and that's 0.38 of a bar which is fine that's correct as you can see here right so i would say this is how you check a map sensor so what I'm gonna do is I'll give it a rev um, I will give it a rev and then I'll go back on the signal wire and we want to see the voltage what it's going to be so is my signal wire there at the moment it is sitting it so what I do is I'll click min max so what that allows to, me to do is i'm not gonna look on my meter i'm just gonna rev it there and then come and click that it should show me the highest voltage uh, that it reached so i'm gonna i'm going to rev it fully okay there's my uh that's so you watch what i'm gonna do here and then check this side keep your eyes on the voltage here we go. Let's see. Oh, it came off. Right. So, no, sorry. If you can hold it for me, I appreciate that. Yeah, it came off. So, let's see if we can put it on Inbox again. Oh, let's see if it's gonna read this time. Yep. So you see, if I go and go there, I saw 4.12 volts there. So if I go and click that, see that? That was the maximum, which is good. Um, that's the maximum that we can get with the engine running. Uh, so wide open. Here we go. Wide open throttle. 4.12 volts okay and we may want maybe to check and see what would that be here and I'll do it again so that you can see the scan tool changing you watch the scan tool what the pressure will be at 4.12 volts I opened the throttle wide open it went straight to 100 kilopascals okay so that was this is equivalent to 100 kilopascals So I would say that I have done all my checks. I've completed all my checks for the uh, for the map sensor. Okay, I've, I've shown you from the scan tool. I've shown you readings uh, from the multimeter. 
the only thing that I haven't shown you uh, would be a I haven't shown you the, the, the scope maybe some other time I'll be able to show you the scope but these are the details that you want when you're testing this sensor um, it is perfect the, the, look this is a manual you can actually use this video if you have a car like this you can use this video as a manual you just go and tap into it and, and, and follow what I'm doing and compare your readings with what I've done here and that's what you're going to get so uh, as I promised I'm going to check the boost pressure sensor on a diesel engine and um, go through that maybe show you the wiring diagram maybe before I do that for this MG so here is auto data here and that's the as you can see manifold absolute pressure up sensor that's a tier b83 you can see pin a b c and d they are the colors they are the colors um, so our pin number one would be this one here then pin number two pin number three and pin number four okay so you can come here to the ECU and see that pin number one is 31 on plug B. Pin number two is 10 on plug B on the same plug. Pin number three is eight on the same plug. And pin number four is 45 on the same plug. So that's plug B, all right? So there you go. I thought I should show you the wiring diagram uh, this side that you see what I was doing. Right, uh, I'm just going to show you how you use an oscilloscope to check a map sensor. Uh, I have all the settings done, you know, sorry for not showing you the settings. We'll do that in another video. But um, there's a man here who's going to rev the engine, so I better get him before he leaves, you know. No, that wasn't a good rev. Give it a... I didn't say get the pistons... I'm saying give it a good rev. So you watch how this is gonna rise up. Good. Try again. Right, just to explain what is going on here. Um, from this point here, that's when you open that flap. Okay, the throttle butterfly, that's when you open it and it just goes gushing in. And then from here, you want to expect at least 4.5 volts. You know, if you get more than that, that's, that's even good. So this is an old car. This is 2003 and we are getting 4.56. So I am happy with that. So the reason why I've done this was to compare how a, temp, a, map, how a map sensor on a petrol engine and um, a boost pressure sensor on a diesel engine work. So these are the waveforms. I'm gonna put them together on my final slide just to show you, then we'll analyze this together. Hello, this is a continuation of the map sensor um, video that I started, you know, in order to compare it to the way uh, a boost pressure sensor works. So I am on a Vectra C here um the map sensor was on a petrol engine it was um, a zr uh, mg so let me get started without wasting any time um, from left to right as you can see uh, number one number two blue and white number three white and black number four gray and red so we want to see what these wires are doing what voltages do they have whenever they are connected sensor is connected or disconnected so just four wires pin number one two three and four okay so i'll turn the ignition key on and then we start from here i do have a battery maintainer you know just to keep the battery um you know going so that's what you see here uh, in case you wonder what it is and i have my usual multimeter dc volts Okay, uh, let me just put the range correct. 
right my range is now correct and then so what I'm gonna do then um, let's start with number one and see what we get with pin number one with the sensor disconnected okay the sensor is disconnected let me see bear with me The sensor is disconnected. That's the voltage, 0 0.03. That's what we're getting. I'll record that. So now I'm on pin number two. Um, I'm on pin number two. That's the blue and white wire. Okay. So I'm getting five volts. Remember, the sensor is disconnected. I have moved on to pin number three. And here's my voltage. We have five volts. Okay, so that's five volts. So we come back again. Now we are going to go to pin number four. So I'm on pin number four, green, red. Ignition key on, engine off sensor disconnected so when you have results like this pin one and pin four same pin two and pin five and pin three sorry they are the same so this is where you want to start to be smart and and now move on to the next stage that's the reason why i show you different stages so when i move to the next stage now this is the this is when i'm beginning to deduce what pin is doing what okay so let's look at see what will happen to number one. Now I've got the, my sensor is now connected. Okay. And I've gone to tap onto number one. And that's the voltage that I'm getting. Nothing has changed. Okay. Nothing has changed. So that should pass a message to you as a technician, 0 0.03 volts same as that so this should start to ring bells now and say right okay um so to me that shows me that is my ground that's what i've learned from that so i'm, I'm on pin number two now have a look at that i told you that this stage is crucial that's when you start to know what is what so to me that is my temperature sensor uh, power signal. So that's what I'm, 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 I'm seeing from this. So the for, um, that was 2.73 volts. Okay. All right. Let's go on uh, and go to pin number three. Number three. Yeah, it's not sitting right. Let me just really need to make sure when you're back probing that you do things right. There we go. Five volts again. So, what does that mean? Sorry, I'm moving about here. So, that's five volts. So, five volts here, five volts here. So, that's the reference voltage for our, uh, for, that's the reference voltage for our map sensor, okay? <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, we come here, and that's our last wire. Look at that. That's our signal wire for the map. Okay, that's the signal wire for the map. So 1.64. Uh, when we compare the signal, the map signal now from a petrol engine and this diesel signal, we can see the difference. When the key was on, on the map signal, ignition on, sensor connected we had almost full voltage it was 4.06 right so it was reading atmospheric pressure 
okay so there is a difference here we are not reading 4 volts we are reading 1.6 so my stage 3 now um, is to go to uh, to start the engine run the engine and do the same tests again and see what I come up with now as you can tell the engine is running and I'm on pin number one and the voltage hasn't changed we're still sitting at 0 0.04 which is okay right now we are on pin number two that's pin number two that's the temperature sensor 283 good voltage Right, we are on the white and black. Okay, that's pin number three. Five volts, that's correct. That is correct. Five volts, so let's go to the signal wire. Finally, we want to look at the signal wire. Everything is okay. 1.71 volts. That's that's good. So I'm going to rev the engine. I have set the min max here, and then I'll come back and check. So let's check and see what was the voltage I revved there. Let's see what was the maximum voltage. It didn't move. Strange. Finally, I managed to get it now. Um, and that's, that's this. I'm on the signal wire there, and wide open, you know, uh, throttle. So I was getting 3.28 volts. Okay, that's revving the life out of it. All right. I was trying to get to four, but I realized I will explode this engine here. So this is what I was getting. That's what I. I put down here right that's exactly what I put down there so I don't know whether I can put this scope maybe right so what what I have in front of me is on this an oscilloscope okay so I have someone in the car I'll ask them to rev and then we want to see what I'm doing now. I'm continuing with the boost pressure sensor. So we want to see what voltage should should give us when we put the foot down. And so you keep watching. Go ahead. Let me bring it back. Uh, let me bring that wave back. See that? Perfect. Uh, all being well it should be sitting at around you know four volts but I, I know there is wear and tear this is a 2004 vehicle so uh, there is wear and tear so uh, you, you even saw when I was doing it with them um, so what I can do here let me go first and, and filter this hopefully it shouldn't um, yep <coughs> So if I can bring my, if I can bring the cursor down, uh, if I can bring it down, let me see what it gives us at the top there. You can see it's giving us, uh oh, let me, let me zoom this, right, it's giving us three points. 63 okay it's 3.63 uh, look i'm happy with this this is an old vehicle so hello everyone i decided to make a video on a barometric uh sensor so that i can um you know compare a barrel sensor a boost pressure sensor and a map sensor so here we go it's a three wire sensor as you can see um 
black and white is our pin number one and then we have got pin number two is brown and gray and then pin number three it is actually green and brown so we will start with pin number one going two and three and then see what the voltages are with the sensor disconnected okay stay tuned so as you can see i'm tapped into pin number one and it's a five volt reference okay that's the five volt reference now I'm into pin number two, and it shows me to be a ground I want to believe. So here we go. Right, tapped into number three. It's giving me the same voltage as pin number two. So it may be difficult there to deduce which one is a is a ground and which one is a signal wire but we'll soon know as soon as we connect that sensor we'll, real, we'll, we'll be able to deduce which one is a ground which one is a reference so here we go the sensor is now connected with the sensor connected I'm getting 5 volts on pin 1 Okay, that's with the sensor connected. So let me go to pin two. You go to pin two and see. Right, there is a pin two, zero point zero two volts. That's the sensor connected. Okay, now we'll go to pin three. Now let's go to pin 3. So now we are on pin 3. That's the green and gray. That's what we have on pin 3. Okay. That's what we have on. Right. Pin 3 is 4.15 volts. Okay. That is connected. So now I'm going to run the engine and then see if these voltages change and then we have a discussion after that. You can tell now that the engine is running and I'm cut onto the signal wire that's the green and brown wire and the voltage is not changing. Okay, the voltage is 4.1. I save time. Pin one with the engine running is five volts. Pin two, 0 0.05, and then pin three, which is our signal wire. This one here is the signal. Okay, that signal wire is 4.18. So it does not change. Now let us come. Uh, let us try and come to a conclusion concerning the boost pressure sensor and the MAP sensor. It is unfortunate that I did this on a, that was a petrol engine, this is a diesel engine. Um, I wish I could find both, you know, in one car. If I do, I'll bring up a video. So let us look at this now. We, we want to just go, our conclusion should be informed by the you know by the results that we got out of the of these tests so <clears throat> let, let's start maybe with a map sensor okay stage one when i'm calling stages these are stages that i'm calling when i say stage one you know i'm talking about my stage one is you know sensor is disconnected key engine key key on engine off so with a map sensor if we come to stage one we are not going to read much to be honest with you uh, because if you see, that's my results for stage one. These are, these are my results for stage one on, on a boost pressure sensor. This is a map se sensor. So where I want to go is stage two. When we come to stage two, now we have the sensor connected, <clears throat> key on engine off. But 
I want to look at the signal wire. That, that's what I'm going to go by here. Uh, it's the signal wire, nothing else. Uh, look what we are reading. This engine is, is not running. Okay. So remember, inside a map sensor, we have two compartments. There's one side that deals with the vacuum, and there's the other side uh, that measures atmospheric pressure. So in this case, we are measuring, this is pure atmospheric pressure, voltage is high, okay? Right, I won't be long concluding this because there's not much, I don't want to be, to be rumbling and rumbling and rumbling. So, so let's go to stage two of a boost pressure sensor. This is a boost pressure sensor the engine is not running the key is on and we are getting 1.71 volts what are we measuring here is this boost no this is not boost this must be atmospheric pressure okay this is not boost it's just that the way this sensor is configured is different from the way the map sensor is configured a map sensor is configured this uh, almost the same as a barometric pressure sensor you can see that at stage two they read the same voltage okay uh, they read the same voltage you know because a baro barometric sensor it, it measures atmospheric pressure all the time it doesn't change look even when you come to stage three, stage two, a barometric pressure sensor just measures atmospheric pressure sensor. But our MAP sensor does both. So let me try and explain that. So let's talk about <clears throat> when the engine is, um, is running, you have the throttle butterfly that is partially opened and you also have the you also have the the pistons that are up, going up and down up and down so that changes the pressure now we are not reading atmospheric pressure we are now reading that because there's a diaphragm that separates these two chambers and this diaphragm has got piezo crystal on it so the vacuum has got an effect of sucking this diaphragm and as this diaphragm starts to move these piezo crystal the moment they feel the movement they create a voltage this is what we are reading now here okay that's what we are reading here but look what happens if we rev right wide open throttle look where we are now we are sitting on what 100 kilopascals which is one bar roughly that has, that's atmospheric pressure why is that because our throttle butterfly has moved and opened fully so now we we have no vacuum in here okay so we are now measuring atmospheric pressure so that's your map sensor it will measure both okay it will measure atmospheric pressure and it will also measure the um, the negative pressure that is created by the pistons um, so if we come here then look when we go to stage three we still have the there is little or no boost here okay we still have 1.71 volts okay at stage three well this is what we're going to get now now this is boost this is positive pressure this is the table charger that is producing this okay so that is wide open throttle so if you want to check this i demonstrated using my uh I've demonstrated it using the oscilloscope. So 
what I can just say with these two sensors is that uh, they are configured totally, totally different. They may be doing the same thing at some stage, but the configurations are different because here at stage two and here they are doing the same thing because there's no boost. Where are we getting the boost here? We have only connected the sensor. The engine is not running, but we have got 1.71. So the way the boost pressure sensor is configured and the way the MAP sensor is configured, they are totally, totally different. But because remember, this boost uh, pressure is on a diesel and a diesel throttle butterfly, it opens straight away. The moment you go key on, it will just open wide open. And what we have there is atmospheric pressure, nothing else. Unlike a petrol one, which is the throttle butterfly on a petrol engine is controlled by your foot, by the accelerator pedal. Okay? So that's why we create vacuum. That's why we have vacuum in there. This is also the reason why we do not... If you notice, when we... Um, a diesel car will have a vacuum pump, a separate vacuum pump. But for a petrol, we don't need it. We just go straight onto the onto the intake and, and tap there because we have a throttle butterfly, but a diesel doesn't have. That's why it will have uh, a separate vacuum pump. So that's my analysis. Uh, this is my analysis of these, you know, three sensors. I thought I should add a barometric pressure sensor as well so that you can see. I'm, I'm responding to one of you guys who asked me to you know to make a video uh comparing these two so they are these are the figures that we have for a barrel and these are the figures you know that we have for a boost pressure sensor wide open throttle and these are the figures that we have for the map sensor okay there you go i hope this uh simple explanation will be helpful to someone thank you